If creationists get their way, if they're actually able to get a religious idea taught in a science class as science, if they're able to do this, if they succeed in getting around the legal constraints that presently exist, if they ever win a court case, what that's going to mean is, I think, far more serious than what people have stopped to think about. It's going to mean that you can teach religion, you can become an advocate for, you can become a government advocate, a teacher can become a government advocate for a religious point of view, and she can use other people's children to do this. That's very serious. And so ultimately, what you're going to have is an undermining of secular democracy itself. We have a secular constitutional democracy built along the guidelines laid out in the Constitution, which is a secular document, which mandates that the government be neutral in matters of religion, which means that public school teachers cannot, in any class, not just in a science class, but in any class, become an advocate for a religious point of view. And at the very least, it would mean that a science teacher is doing something very unethical, misleading children about science, um, or that the science teacher, if the teacher really believes intelligent design is science, is incompetent. And so that would give legal sanction to professional incompetence, to a, a very unethical type of behavior, and it would undermine the Constitution. That's a threat to every American, and we would be doing this inside a classroom. Public schools are the very seedbed of democracy, and people need to connect this issue of creationism with the issue of the Constitution, because ultimately that's what's endangered.